Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Well, boy did we have a flashback to the 1980s tonight. Oh man, Calgary Edmonton, game one. My goodness, I, I, I literally thought I was watching a game from the late 80s, early 90s. I mean, this was absolutely insane. The, I mean, two teams that don't exactly like each other. <laughs> don't exactly like each other. There's an understatement. Two teams who haven't played in the playoffs in 31 years. And uh, they definitely showed. They definitely showed that they had not played in the playoffs in 31 years. And uh, <laughs> they definitely showed they don't like each other. So right off the bat, the game starts. And 26 seconds in, it's Lindholm from Anderson and Gaudreau. That is Lindholm's fourth of the year. 26 seconds in. And that just kind of set the pace for the, for the entire game. And then, literally less than 30 seconds later, at 51 seconds, it's Manjapani from Backland. So right off the bat in the first in less than the in less than a minute the first minute into the game it's already 2 nothing Calgary. They literally scored two goals on their first two shots. And it was like, well, this could be interesting. And we're thinking, okay, you know, you know, Edmonton's kind of got to get squared away here a little bit. Well, then just a few minutes later, at 6.05, it's Richie, unassisted, his first goal of the playoffs. That puts Calgary up 3 to nothing, six minutes into the first period. And you're thinking, wow. I mean, this was, this was insane. And then at least a little over a minute and a half after that, McDavid finally got the Oilers on the board with his fifth of the, fifth of the year unassisted at 7.41. So that made it three to one, and again we had some few. I mean the 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 action up and down the ice was was insane. I mean the shots were crazy. I mean Calgary was just peppering the shots. Edmonton is just trying to trying to hang in, and we end the first period. It's you know first period ends. It's three to one Calgary at the end of the at the end of the first. Well then. And I think it's I think it was in the first was it in the first or no it was in the second period I think it was when uh, when Smith got yanked because uh, no actually no he did he got he got pulled after that third goal he got pulled after that third goal and uh, so second period starts and. Koskinen is in net, so Calgary has already chased Smith out of the net. And the second period starts, and here we go again. Within the first minute, 45 seconds in, it's Coleman with his first of the playoffs for Manjapani and Anderson. That makes it 4-1 Calgary. And this is just, it's, it's a route. It's, it's a complete route, right? Well, as we'll see, it's not quite. But, again, more time goes by. Calgary's putting, you know, just, just throwing, throwing shots like crazy. And it's 6-10. Coleman, again, gets his second of the game, his second of the postseason from Hannafin and Lewis. And that makes it 5-1 in favor of the Flames. This, I mean, this is, I'm sitting there watching this, and I'm just like, huh. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, being blown away by the, I'm, I'm literally like, this is a flashback to the 80s. It was fun. It was, I mean, for the coaches and the goaltending, it was not fun at all. For a fan like me, I was loving every bit of it. It was fantastic. But then a minute after Coleman made it 5-1, to one, Bouchard makes it 5-2 to two from McDavid and Dreisaitl. So the Oilers are trying to stick around. They're trying to hang in there. You know, and they're doing they're doing their best. I mean, they've they've narrowed they've narrowed it down to three goal. It's a, only a three goal lead. It's five to two. And then the Oilers then take a penalty, and 
just a minute and 20 after the Oilers make it 5-2, to two, it's Kachuk with his second of the postseason from Gaudreau and Toffoli on the power play. Now it's it, that makes it 6-2, to two, and it's a route. The Oilers, I mean, the, the, the Flames are, this, this is just a runaway. You know, the, the Flames, they should have no problem holding this. This should be an easy win for the Flames. Not so much. <laughs> because then, literally a minute and ten after the power play goal, it's Hyman from Nugent Hopkins at 938. That's his third of the postseason. That makes it 6-3. to three. So, the Oilers have a little bit of life. And then, you know, I mean... Again, some furious action up and down the ice. You know, these teams not not like not liking each other much. And then Hyman at four at at 14 minutes. 14. Is that 14? Okay, I think that's 1406. Sometimes my my O's and my sixes look very similar. I think it was 1406. Hyman again with his fourth of the postseason from Nugent Hopkins and Yamamoto. So now it's six to four. Now it's looking like, uh-oh, <laughs> Calgary's all of a all of a sudden Calgary's bench has kind of gone somewhat silent, and the fans are, you know, all of a sudden a lot of the fans in Calgary went from from you know going absolutely nuts to kind of silent, and then as more action happens in the last minute of the period, Drysital. From McDavid at 1921, a beautiful. I mean, McDavid. I mean, you know, uh, Anderson from the Flames looked like he tried. He, he tried to chip the puck up. It hit McDavid in the leg. McDavid skated in, got it over to Drysaddle, who then just wired it. And now it's six to five. So after two periods. We started the second period. It was three to one. It became five to one, and then six to two. And then by the time the second period is over, it went from being six to two to six to five. So all of a sudden, the Oilers are back into this. So the third period starts, and barely, not even a minute and a half in, Yamamoto ties the game. His second of the postseason from McDavid and Drysidle at 128. So we so the Flames went from a 6-2 lead, I mean multiple goal leads. I mean three nothing, five to one, six to two. Now it's six six, and it's just, I mean the the swings, the back and forths were just insane. And as a fan, I I was it was ins- it was just it was so fun. It was so fun to watch as a fan. But then not long after that, the Flames reclaim the lead. It's Anderson from Manjapani and Yarncroke, his second of the postseason. That makes it 7-6. So, you know, the Oilers, they, they clawed all the way back. The Oilers, they just they, ne- they never could get the lead. I mean, you know, they were down by three and four goals, clawed all the way back to tie it. And that one makes it seven to six. That's basically the game winner. And then at uh, at just under nine minutes, at eight fifty-five, it's Kachuk again, unassisted, his third of the postseason. That makes it eight to six. And then you know the action back and forth. Calgary is throwing everything they can. They're trying to they're trying to get back into this game again. And they go. They pull the goaltender. And Kachuk with a hat with the hat trick, his fourth of the postseason, third of the game from Lindholm and Gaudreau at 1749. It's an empty netter. It makes it nine to six, and that's the game. That's the final. Nine six Calgary to take the one game to nothing lead. I mean, I literally when I was do when I was doing this, I mean, as you probably you know, I literally I had to do it. I, I couldn't fit it all on one sheet. I, I had to flip it all over. 
I literally had to flip it over. That was it was crazy. I haven't had to do that. No, I haven't had to do that while doing these notes yet. Till right then. So, so Calgary wins nine to six. The shot department favored Calgary overwhelmingly. Nineteen to seven Calgary in the first. Twenty one eleven Calgary in the second. In the third, Edmonton actually had the advantage. Ten to eight. Total shots, 48 for Calgary, 28 for Edmonton. Just nuts. The Oilers, the power play, the Oilers went 0 for 5. The Flames went 1 for 3. Obviously, after after the game, after time was running down, uh, it got very uh, it got very punchy. The uh, the they were they were they were getting well acquainted with each other again. Lots of why I oughtas. and. Uh, yeah, just nuts. So, the goaltenders. Mike Smith, after getting a shutout in Game 7 against Calgary, he stops 7 out of 10. And then Koskinen comes in and saves 32 of 37. Markstrom didn't exactly... I mean, neither none of the three goaltenders had, had a real great night. Markstrom only stopped 22 of 28. So, I mean, neither goalie had a great night. The three stars... Were Kachuk, obviously, you know, definite deserved first star, Anderson and Coleman. I mean, you could have had, I mean, you know, Hyman could have gotten a star. There were, I mean, you know, you you only could have three stars, but you could have had probably five or six different stars. There were, a, I mean, a lot of guys got on the got on the score sheet. A lot of guys got points. It was just this was an insane game, and it was so fun to watch. So Calgary is up one game to nothing, and uh, man, oh man, oh man, absolutely fantastic game, and uh, it kind of makes you wonder what game two is going to look like. If game if if game two is anything like this one, we could be in some for some very very fun hockey, some very fun hockey. So let me know what you guys thought. How did you guys How did you guys enjoy the game? How'd you think the goaltenders did? I didn't think they did great, but uh, you know, what do you what do you guys think? How do you you know? What's your guys' opinion on this game? Did you like it? Did you like it from a fan aspect? Did you love the offense? Did you did you love basically the lack of defense? I'd love to uh, hear you guys' thoughts on that. And uh, if you're new and you're just seeing this video or any of my other videos for the first time. Hopefully you enjoy them. If you enjoy them, hit that subscribe button down there. I would greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. And, uh, yeah, basically a flashback to, like, 19, 1988, 89, 91. This is the kind of stuff we saw back when these two teams played in the playoffs back in the day. So, uh, and that's only game one. So, we got some, hopefully some of these other games will be... You know, I mean, they might be a little closer, maybe not as high scoring, but who knows? This could be a very high scoring series. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button down there if you uh, enjoy the content. And uh, talk to you guys again soon.